Country music giant Garth Brooks has amassed a $430 million fortune but friends tell RadarOnline.com he lives his life like he doesn't have two nickels to rub together. Brooks, 62, sold 157 million albums in his career but avoids the trappings of fame and fortune like the plague. Sources claim the singer and current wife Trisha Yearwood, 59, never go on exotic vacations, dine out on fast food or buy flashy cars. One insider claimed, Garth borders on obsessive when it comes to living a simple life. It goes back to his humble Oklahoma upbringing. He was taught nobody is better than anyone else and gets almost embarrassed by all the attention and adoration he gets. It takes a big ego to get up on stage and entertain 75,000 fans at a show, but when he's not performing, he just takes a pin and pops his ego balloon. Brooks further proved his dedication to living a more ordinary life when he temporarily retired from his music career in the early 2000s and moved from Nashville, Tennessee to Oklahoma to raise his daughters, August, Allie, and Taylor, who he shares with his first wife, Sandy Mall, 59. While he eventually returned to country music, it wasn't until his kids finished high school. A second source added, Garth figures the best way to show his love for his daughter was to not coddle them or cater to their every whim. In fact, when they were in high school, he insisted they take on modest jobs for spending money. The insider clarified Brooks's daughters also aren't expecting a huge chunk of money through their eventual inheritance as the country artist has already earmarked a host of charities he supports for that. As for Yearwood, she is reportedly just as careful with money as her husband. The source shared, Trisha doesn't complain at all about Garth's thrifty ways. They really are two peas in a pod when it comes to not showing off their wealth. Brooks hasn't only accrued his massive net worth from his popular music. He also rakes in cash from his new Nashville bar, Friends in Low Places Bar and Honky Tonk. As RadarOnline.com previously reported, he sparked backlash after declaring the establishment would sell Bud Light after many critics vowed to boycott the brand following their partnership with transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney. At the time, he shared, I know this sounds corny, I want it to be the Chick-fil-A of Honky Tonks. I want it to be a place you feel safe in, I want it to be a place where you feel like there are manners and people like one another. And yes, we're going to serve every brand of beer. We just are. It's not our decision to make. Our thing is this if you, are let, into this house, love one another. If you're an A, there are plenty of other places on Lower Broadway. Have a tip? Send it to us. Email RadarOnline.com at tips at RadarOnline.com